Ah, fractions. Everyone's favorite part of math. No pun intended, right? Well, I've found over the last several years of teaching math that most trouble with fractions really stems from not understanding what fractions really mean. So let's take a few moments to review the absolute basics. One of my favorite things to do at parent night or open house is to show parents that a lot of their students' problem with math is not understanding the language of math, what the words and letters and numbers and symbols mean. I project a slide like this one and ask the parents to come up with a solution. The absolute look of confusion on the parent's face always mirrors what I've seen on students' faces when first confronted with problems like this. But it's really a simple problem if you know the language. Fractions are used when you have pieces of a whole. Think of a classic example like a pizza. Let's say our pizza was cut into 13 equal slices. Somebody ate one of the slices, so we're left with 12. We have 12 out of our 13 slices. The first fraction here, 12 over 13, represents the situation. The bottom number, the denominator, tells us how many pieces make up the entire pizza, here 13. The number on top, the numerator, tells us how many pieces of that whole pizza we actually have. Here we have 12 pieces out of 13, which is almost one whole pizza. Think for a second about what the second fraction means, 77 over 80. What does that 80 tell us? Yep, 80 slices, and someone took 3, leaving 77. Again, almost a whole pizza. So the answer to this problem is really just 2. We've got almost an entire pizza, 12 out of 13 slices, combined with almost another whole pizza, 77 out of 80 slices. The question is really asking, what's almost 1 plus almost 1? Well, it's almost or about 2. We're going to go into fractions in much greater detail in the next few sections. And as you go through the material, always keep in mind what the numerator and denominator really mean. Again, the denominator just tells us how many pieces we cut something up into, and the numerator tells us how many of those pieces out of the whole we have left.